12 years ago, I discovered minimalism, and it completely revolutionized my life. As I began owning fewer things, I found more time and money and energy for the things in life that were most important to me. However, I can understand how some people are a little nervous to get started. And so I wanted to offer in this video seven ways that you could sample minimalism, seven ways to get started piece by piece to see if minimalism is something that you would enjoy doing. So let me give you the list of seven. Number one, you could start with clothes. Now, these aren't things that you have to entirely remove from your home, but you could box up any of these items, just box them up, remove them from the spot where you spend most of your time and see how owning less benefits you. When you think of clothes, we wear 20% of our clothes 80% of the time. Getting rid of the clothes that we don't wear from our closet makes getting ready easier in the morning. It makes our morning less stressful. Everything we do see hanging is clothes that we love. So it's a great place to see how owning less changes your everyday. Number two, try removing some decorations from your home, at least temporarily. I was surprised when I started minimizing my stuff, how many of our decorations really weren't that meaningful. They just been on sale at Michael's or they matched the color of the couch, but really they were detracting from the decorations that did mean the most to us. Try taking out some of the decorations that don't mean anything to you and see if the more meaningful ones take a more prominent role in your home. Number three, toys. Tough one to get started. If you're gonna force the kids to try out minimalism before you is a little bit tricky, but this is a place to get started. Seems like when we get kids, we just buy more and more and more stuff. We end up with rooms and closets full of toys. But there's actually a lot of studies that owning fewer toys means our kids experience deeper play, they take care of their toys better, they're more creative. And so maybe you could remove a few of the toys from the play area and see how it affects the way your kids interact with them. Number four, your cooking utensils. I think of our grandparents. My grandmother cooked way better than I do, and she owned far fewer things and in a much smaller kitchen as well. It seems we're told that we need to buy more and more kitchen utensils, but I don't know if they're actually improving our cooking whatsoever. And so try going through your kitchen and clean up some of the drawers and some of the cabinets and just taking out some of those tools and things that you thought were gonna make cooking easier and see if just enjoying the basics brings more joy to cooking going forward. Number five, televisions. The average American home has more televisions than people in it. When we started removing televisions, we found that we watched less television, and when we did watch television, we did it together as a family. Again, I'm not saying that you have to remove your televisions forever, you have to throw them off your roof or burn them in the backyard, please don't. I'm just saying just put them in the basement for a little while and see how owning fewer televisions affects the way your family interacts with one another. Number six, you can sample minimalism by clearing off your countertops. We leave a lot of things out on our countertops thinking they make life more convenient, but every physical possession is just another piece of visual distraction in our lives. And sometimes clearing off the countertops brings more calm and peace to our homes, to our lives, to our everyday. And so, again, these aren't appliances that you have to throw away, but find a place to store them out of sight and see how freeing up your countertop just might change the way you spend your days. And lastly, seventh, furniture. Granted, this takes a little time and effort and it's not always easy to move pieces of furniture around, but furniture takes up a lot of space in our homes. And if there are some pieces of furniture in your home that you can remove and relocate to another space, you just might be surprised how much you enjoy freeing up the area in the rooms where you spend your time. 
Minimalism has been great for me. Most people who embrace it, I think, love what happens in their home and life. But you can get started at your own pace. And so here are just seven ideas for you to sample it out in your home. It's Kim Becker. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, we'd love to have you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more videos like this, then consider subscribing to our channel.